Hi everybody, welcome back to Mando Lessons. In this week's lesson I'm going to be working on the Irish reel Drowsy Maggie. It's a popular Irish uh, tune in the key of E Dorian, E minor. Um, and I'll play it through once so you can get a sense of what it sounds like and then I'll break it down into sections so you can learn it by ear. I do recommend trying to learn it by ear, it's a great skill to have and the more you do it the easier it gets. That said, if you need help there are tabs, standard notation, chords to play along with, play along tracks, and more over at mandolessons.com, as well as a bunch of other lessons, uh, tunes and songs, things like that. There's also a couple ways to donate over at the website and in the description below if you enjoy these lessons. It helps me put out new lessons every week, which is what I do, and I couldn't do it without you, so I appreciate it. But that said, the lessons will always be free. So let's get back to the music here. Uh, I'll play I'll play through it once and then break it down into section. Drowsy Maggie. Irish reel. One, two, three, four. There's the tune, now I will break it down. So, first phrase sounds like this. So what we've got going on there is a little kind of finger rock. It's all second fret on the D and A string. Let's try that again, just that little movement. Sometimes you can either just kind of smash between the two sets of strings or you'll rock just a little bit between the D and A strings on the second fret and then you're going to hit the 5th fret on the A string as well. Again. Again. And again. Next phrase. Let's do that again. And again. One more time. Let's put those two phrases together and it sounds like this. Two, three, four. That's the first half of the A part. Second half um, sounds, the first phrase is the same. And the ending phrase. Let's do that a couple times. So it starts on the second fret of the A string. You get that little D arpeggio, 5th fret, open, 4th on the D, open D. So let's put that with the phrase before, it sounds like this. And let's put the whole A part together. One, two, three, four.
One more, a little slower. Alright, moving on to the B part. B part starts on the 5th fret of the A string. It sounds like this. Let's do that much. Again. One more. Next phrase, going up and down the scale. Or going up and then stepwise down. Again. Put those two phrases together, it sounds like this. Again. Next phrase is the same as the first. And then the ending of the first half of the B. Let's do that again. I'm actually going to do that. I'm going to end the open D rather than the open A. Nope, sorry, I'm going to end on the open A. That's my final decision there. Sorry to go back and forth on you. So it's very similar to the ending of the A part, which is ends on the open D, but to get back into the second half of the B part, we're going to end on the open A. So that whole first half of the B sounds like this. And then it's going to lead. So let's do that one more time. going to lead into the second half of the B, which is very similar. But when we get to the top, rather than go back down, we're going to end with a long note on that fifth fret of the a E string. So up until there, it's... And then we have this sort of alternate ending phrase. So there's a couple of kind of pickup notes to that is that 2-3 on the E string. And then we have this little kind of walk down. Let's do that again. Pickups. One more time. And then ending on the open D. So let's put the whole second half of the B part together. Sounds like this. Do that again. Here we go. And 
and then that's gonna lead right back into the A part. So let's play the whole B part through. Sounds like this. time. kind of looped back through so you get a sense of how it all connects it really starts making a lot more sense and this is where the play along tracks can come in really handy over on mandolessons.com you can sort of hear it looped through a bunch of times hear how all these things connect but for now let's play it through a a b b it's a single tune so that the a part kind of repeats itself the b part would repeat itself except for the alternate ending um, but again listening to it is going to be your best bet on kind of getting the form into your brain and under your fingers. So, one, two, three, four. Check out the play along tracks or the tabs to uh, follow up on some of these notes you might not be getting or the way that the, the form works. Um, but thanks for watching. Again, more tunes, songs, other lessons over at mandolessons.com. Hope to see you over there soon, over here soon if you're already here. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.